It's almost 20 years since the local council devised a scheme for Ealing's town centre, which the council loved and the locals loathed. Residents wanted more than the grey concrete anonymity of dual carriageways and shopping centres. They wanted a plan which put the heart back in Ealing, and as far as they're concerned, it's put back a little body and soul too. Under the auspices of the Ealing Study Group, the residents redesigned their own town. No new roads, but a blend of Edwardian and Victorian Ealing. The council agreed, and today the Broadway Centre received the ultimate approval. Oh, great! Nothing could be better! Oh, beautiful. It's really yeah. beautiful. The £60 million development includes a glass atrium and an open town square beneath walkways and towers. The crowds were large and their welcome noisy and floral. Some bouquets were handed gently, others lobbed from the back of the crowd. Either way, the Queen didn't seem to mind. And then an unusual accolade as the monarch agreed to be rag queen for Ealing College. The students made the offer two months ago and today the Queen was happy to oblige, remarking that her son Edward was enjoying his rag week too. And while Ealing's real town planners watched from behind the barriers, the civic dignitaries did their best to present a united front. Last week the ruling group banned the Labour opposition from taking tea with the Queen because they boycotted a royal garden party last year. Immediate uproar and unhappy headlines in the local press. Step forward, however, the council leader, appropriately named Mr Kettle, who finally allowed four Labour members in for the Royal Digestives. A fittingly English end to Ealing's big day. Lindsay Charlton in Ealing Broadway for Thames News.